What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your last tutorial in working with files. The last thing I want to talk to you guys is how to read and write actual files. So the first thing that I want to do is, well let's do this before I even begin. Go ahead and make a new file and again it's just going to be an empty text file. Next name it tester file. Here so you guys can see it, tester file and choose and put it in build debug right there where our program's running and go ahead and finish so now we have a blank tester file but this is a tester file and I like bacon ham just uh, fill anything with it and go ahead and save it so now we have a file tester file in our same directory that we're working with so now we can actually get to the tutorial uh, you may have already had one. If you do, then uh, we can just use that one. But anyways, the class that we want to use is called NS File Handle, and this class, the objects we create from it are going to allow you to do things like open files, um, create output, write things in the file, um, delete things from the file. So we're going to be making two objects, fin and foul. One of them is going to be for reading files input and one of them is going to be for outputting and creating new files so aside from that ns data we're going to be working with this ns data class and go ahead and make a buffer now what a buffer is is it's a place to temporarily hold data so where we're going to be using this is we're going to be reading data from the file we just created storing it in a buffer and then when we're ready to write that data out just saying alright just write this buffer so we don't have to type all that text it's gonna be a lot easier so the first thing that we want to do is open tester file for reading and in order to do this go ahead and get your NS file handle fin means file in I mean it doesn't need to be named fin that's just what I decided to name it because I you know I like short variables so I don't mistype anything and here's what you do ns file handle in this class there's a method called file handle for reading at path and let's go ahead and as your string this is the path at tester file and make sure you spell that right tester file so now what we did is we pretty much opened this tester file and we we're able to read the data from it using the fin object so after that you know I'm not gonna create any more comments I'm just gonna talk you through it. so after that what we need to do is create a brand new file so this file doesn't exist yet because we only have one file in it we want to create a new file right here and copy the data over so first thing let's create that new file and in order to do this we actually need a one of those file managers ns file manager default manager and what we want this to do is create file at path and the path is going to be just your file name of course we learned this before just name it new file in the contents just set this equal to nil we don't want anything in there yet and attributes just set this equal to nil too so you're pretty much creating just a blank file I mean that's it with nothing in it so after you created your blank file I mean what we want to do next is open that file so we're able to write stuff in it so in your FOUT your other file handler what you want to do is set this one equal to NS file handle for and I don't know why this isn't popping up oh I know NS file handle there we go I got kind of ahead of myself right there so what we want to do is in this class there's an object or excuse me there's a method called file handle for reading at path but we actually want to change this reading to writing at path so check this out let me fill in the path and then I'll explain what I just did at new file 
whenever you create file handle objects fn and fout you say what you want the file handle object to do we said this one is for reading so this file is able to read files this object is able to read files this one is for writing so whenever we use f out we're able to write stuff in our file and that just means like write text in our file so after that what we need to do is something called truncate the file and what truncate means is pretty much get rid of anything that may be in the file so let me add a little comment truncate file so in order to do this we need to f out because we need to get rid of anything that's in the file that we're going to be writing to f out truncate file at offset looks good and start at zero that means start at the beginning and delete everything in the file so now what we did pretty much so far is all right we open the tester file to read stuff from it and then we created a new file and then we said alright we're gonna write stuff to the file but first we want to delete everything and now when you actually want to start writing what do we want to do we want to copy everything from this file the tester file and well let's go ahead and do that first so go ahead and take that buffer which is pretty much temporarily it's pretty much memory and fn read data to end of file just like that and that's all you need to put so what this is going to do is it's going to open that fin object which is tester file and read all of the data from it and it's going to store all of that data in a variable called buffer so now what we want to do is take that buffer which is pretty much all the text in the file and we want to write it to the f out file and this is incredibly simple f out there's just a built-in method called write data and we want to write buffer pretty easy huh so now what we did basically is deleted everything in the output file which is the new file and then we read all of the data from the old file and copied it into the new file pretty cool huh so now after we're done with this just put fin close file and remember always to close your files when you're done working with it and check this out see right now all we have is the tester file and if I double click that you can see this is the tester file and I like bacon and ham yada yada it doesn't really matter what's in it so let's go ahead and build and run this and see what we get a new file pops up right here and when we double click on it it says this is tester file I like bacon and ham so what it did is it caught is it pretty much created a new file and then it copied all the stuff from inside tester file and wrote it to new file so what did it do well let me show you what it did in uh, our console now it opened that tester file right here using fin object and then it created a new file with the ns file manager which we learned how to do in the last tutorials and then it opened out it opened the new file so we were able to write stuff in it but first before we did we want to make sure that everything was deleted you usually want to do this when you're writing a file from bare bones and then what it did after everything was deleted in the new file stored all the data in the old file in a variable called buffer it took that data and wrote it in the new file f out and then it closed both the files because you know good housekeeping practice close files when you're done with it and bam that's what we did so again that's the last tutorial that I'm going to be teaching you concerning files there's a lot more stuff to go over but it's pretty much the same concepts we learned uh, just a bunch of built-in methods for you know paths directories files everything else from now on should be self-explanatory ready move on to the next topic so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe source code below and uh, I'll see you later